Okay, here is an unboxing of the TP Link W8960N ADSL high speed modem router. See, these were highly recommended, so I went and got one today. Three year warranty, surge protected, this is pretty cool. An ADSL2 splitter included, and wireless. It says that it has, what have we got here? It's all in one, so it's an all in one modem and router. High speed, 300 megabit streaming, and as well as apparently it's easy to use. I've had other TP products, and yes, it is. Okay, let's unwrap it. So we've got the purchasing and product guides, always come with these things, decent install book, looks pretty basic, a resource CD, so hopefully that's user manual on that, and drivers. We've, got, we've got power, possibly drivers, power, an ADSL splitter and filter, Here is the baby itself. So put the ADSL line in the back. Four network hubs. Reset power on off and two antenna. There are the two antennas. I think they're only three decibel. Got some Cat5 cable and telephone cable. But including this is pretty sweet, you don't have to go out and spend 15, 20 bucks on another one. Another thing I like about the TP-Link modems is that they're good, good aeration on the back, but also hooks to hang it on the wall. This is proves really handy um, if your setup options are limited or if you just prefer to have it higher on the wall for better signal. Etc. Gives you another closer look at the gold points. I think TP Link put a lot of effort into these and it's uh, it shows. And then on the front, once it's lit up, you can see wireless N ADSL2 modem router, but you've got all the LEDs here all lit up. I'll give you a look at another uh, router that I've got. This is a pretty cool feature with them. I don't personally use it, but I can imagine why people would. Is uh, the quick setup service. So basically, you push that button and it sets itself up with its own key or password, as you will, and um, encrypts itself without you having to worry about the password setup. So I think it looks pretty classy with the white and the uh, TP Link logo. This is the ADSL splitter that it comes with. Cool little blue cable end that it's got. Can't focus on that for the life of it. And of course, the ADSL and phone entry exit points, except your well, exit points, pardon me. I haven't heard any complaints about this online, so must be good. Okay, finally put the antennas on. Um, I 99% of the time upgrade these. Um, I've got my other TP Link uh, router, cable router, that uh, I've put a set of 5 decibels on it, and on other routers I've put an 8 decibel on it. People often ask why, I say, why not? Why not get a stronger signal throughout the house wherever you go? Um, and it always tends to work well. Uh, the official TP Link ones are fine. Um, it probably cost a bit more, but if peace of mind your thing, uh, they may be okay. Um, well, pretty much guarantee they'd be okay. Uh, and of course, there's plenty of uh, five decibel antennas on eBay and other stores, and that's the best thing about modems with detachable antennas, and the reason why I like to buy them. 
is um, you can upgrade it, etc. So, oh, the other best thing about these modems is that you can put um, DDWRT uh, openware on them, and uh, some people love it and swear by it. Uh, allows you to do a lot of customization with these routers um, and other people uh, like myself just tend to leave them stock I don't really like to tinker uh, with these things a lot but some people do anyway that's it guys thanks for tuning into the unboxing